It's time to take five. Now you know. There has been a lot of news coverage regarding the safety of our water supply. Joining us today is Mara Hatfield of the law firm of Cersei Denny to explain what you need to know and what you can do to protect you and your family. Welcome, Mara. Thank you for having me and your interest in the subject. Thank you. So what is the first step in making sure that the water that my family is drinking and cleaning, cooking, and bathing with in our home is actually safe? First step is figuring out where is all the water that we're exposed to coming from. So there's the question of are you using for drinking and for cooking the same water that you're using for bathing? There's a question of do your children go to a school and do they have a separate school source there? Do you rely on bottled water and does your home get water from a public water service, a PWS, or does your home rely chiefly on bottled water or does your home rely chiefly on groundwater that you source yourself through a well? How can I see if the bottled water I'm drinking is safe? Your bottled water is actually monitored by the Food and Drug Administration, the FDA. It's not monitored by the EPA. It's not monitored by the Health Department. There are two monitoring steps to that. There's the bottling process of the water, and then the water itself actually has to meet the same standards as the Safe Drinking Water Act, which is what the public water system will have to comply with. So you want to keep on top of those two things, and you can do that by researching the company. This is only important if you're getting your water from the same bottled water source again and again and again. If you're just getting a bottle here and there, that's fine. But if you are using the same bottling company, you can, you can stay on top of that. You can ask the corporation or you can research them yourself. And the most important thing that you can do to keep the control in your hands is to switch up your water source every once in a while. Don't always rely on the same company or the same bottler if you can possibly do so. And how can I check on the water that's provided by the PWS? That's the easiest thing to do. That one, you can go online, you can look at their annual quality uh, report, which they will uh, put out every year. Some of the testing is a summary of what's been done over three years. Some of those standards have been relaxed, and they don't need to monitor for everything every year. But uh, the data behind that is also available. If you do your homework and you go online, the testing for the, for the actual summary that's put out is available so if you really want to do your homework and double check that you can but the annual water quality report is published yearly it used to be mailed now it's online and you can find that and you can read through that so why should i rely on the reporting from the pws if it's only a summary well if if there were something uh that were going on in the state it's not just the water utility that we're relying on to catch that it's a network of agencies we have the health department monitoring uh what's going on with the health of the county we have the dep and erm and other agencies making sure that the water that's sourced is safe uh, whether it be groundwater or surface water but really the the, the main thing that you want to check is you want to stay on top of what's going on in your community as far as what's going on with the surface and groundwater and what's going on with my water quality report. You can do things like surf your watershed with EPA it's, and you can also go online to find other testing and make sure that the water that's being summarized, the reports that are being summarized, are being accurately summarized. All the information is available and you don't have to rely only on the report if you want to do your homework. And how can I check the water that's supplied by my well? That's more tricky. That is totally up to you. There's no report that you can find. You have to make that report happen. And you can hire companies to do that, and you ask them to test for the Safe Drinking Water Act suite. It's over 90 contaminants. You want to do that at least every year if you want to be as, as conscientious about your water as if you got it from a water utility company. And you need to make sure that the labs that the work is being sent to are certified to test for all those contaminants. That might be problematic only with radionuclides, but there are plenty of labs that do it. It's up to you to do your homework and make sure that the people that you're paying to get your water tested are getting into the labs that are certified to do that testing for you. Why are we still hearing about things like lead in our water if we're getting our water through a community water supply? That's a great question. So the problem with the lead in the water is because the, the community water supply is being tested at the source. So after they treat it and before they pump it out to your house, the water that you're drinking from your home is after it's gone through a lot of piping and some of those pipes might have metals in them. Hopefully the water supply company is on top of the acidity, alkalinity, and making sure that those, those metals aren't getting stripped. But prior to 1978, we were allowed to build with piping that had more lead and some other metals. So every three years, you can get your water tested from your own uh, tap and make sure that there's not any metals that are present in the water. Thank you so much, Mara. Thank you. If you have any questions about your rights and the safety of our water supply, just visit searcylaw.com.